join me today. A big welcome to all my new subscribers. Hello. I'm so happy you've joined me. We are well over 100 now. We are heading toward that 200. I can't wait till we get there. And please leave comments in the little area down below. Let me know what you like about my videos, what more you would like to see from me. I have a little surprise coming up at this end of this video, so stay tuned to the end so you'll see what I have planned because you're going to want to mark your calendars for this one and um, if you are a returning viewer I'm so happy you've stuck around now let's get on with the show today's episode is going to be my June fabric haul uh, it's quite a big one if you've seen the thumbnail so let's get started first one I have here is one that actually I think is a little bit probably before July but I had misplaced it for a little while it was still in its bag in my bedroom so I have another piece of this that I had purchased from the same seller this one is a uh, thrift find from my favorite Bill Star Antiques uh, the other one I have version I have of this is green and orange and I think black it's right over here somewhere I'm not seeing it right now, but this one I have a little more yardage of. I'm not sure if it's enough for a dress, but again, it is the design reminds me of old linoleum. This one is red, blue, black on like a grayish white background. Close up of that. This is one of my favorites, definitely an old vintage 1950s. Narrow, probably about 33 inches wide. Okay, so that is number one. The next two I got on clearance at my local Joann's. These are officially now the last of the Gertie fabrics they had in stock there. This one is the laser cut eyelet. Uh, this one is the turquoise green. And then this one is the red. So these will probably be, I have a think a little bit less of the red than I do the turquoise, so the red will probably be a blouse or a skirt, and then the green will be a dress. Anyone ever notice, or is it just me, that whenever you have fabric from Joann's, it always smells like pine cones? <laughs> I think that's because they have all that seasonal scented pine cones. I just notice that all the time when I come home it smells just like Joanne's. Alright, the next one I have is an absolutely fabulous polished cotton vintage piece again from Bell Star. I, think I have about two yards here. Geranium print. Oops, you can see. Um, probably going to be a skirt with this one. It has that nice vintage crunchy feel to it beautiful polished cotton this one I think has a name on it too um, Concord Fabrics Incorporated designed by the Kesslers made in USA I love geraniums pink pink and red geraniums okay and let's see the next group I have here is from Savers and I also had a discount coupon. Savers is a U.S. based uh, thrift store. So I've recently discovered that they have fabric there. And oh, did I get some steals. I was so excited with what I got there. I just couldn't believe it. I never noticed. Uh, they have it in the bedding section, like where they have quilts and rugs and all things like that. And it's at the very end. And it just blends in with like curtains and tablecloths and things like that so I never know, realized that they actually ha they had fabric there. Um, I don't think any of these are truly vintage or anything but that doesn't matter. They're perfect for me. The patterns, the styles. Um, I was absolutely thrilled with these and I can tell you what I ended up paying for them. I have not measured them so I don't know the yardage but just by feel uh, I can usually tell whether something can be you know a skirt or a blouse or maybe um, a dress that doesn't have too much yardage. The first one is this tropical print rayon. It's red with black and white, has flowers and pineapples on it. 
really nice and drapey. Uh, I would say this is a definitely um, a wider width. So it's probably about a 55. And I probably have maybe a little over a yard. So it probably would be a good skirt, nice summer, summer skirt. And I ended up paying for this one um, $1.59. So can't beat that. Then the next one I got is this Polly Hunter Green and white gingham um can't go wrong with gingham i have a beautiful i've shown in another one of my videos which i'll link up here um a nice uh shirting cotton gingham i have that one is more of a kelly green this one is definitely a darker more of a hunter green and it is polyester but there's quite a bit of yardage here there must be at least four or five yards of this so not sure what this will be some sort of a dress and this one I ended up paying um let's see I'm gonna tag on here what the original was two dollars and 39 cents how can you go wrong even if it is not cotton and it's poly it's great for a wearable muslin so there's that one uh, the next I got is this large piece oh and of course the cats cats have been on this one of solid bright red wool there's got to be at least three maybe four yards here just plain, nice, not too heavy, nice weight wool. And it's like a, a wool suiting. It has a few little nip pinholes here and there, um, but nothing that couldn't easily just be stitched. Or I can, if I can't work around it, if I can't with pattern placement, whatever I decide to do with this. Hopefully it'll end up being some kind of a cute little 40s style suit um, for the winter. Uh, but there, like that, there's a little tiny tin hole. I don't know if you can see that right there. Just a teeny weeny little bite. Um, if I can't work around them, they can easily be darned up. So that's not a problem with that. And this one I paid um, $3.99. So that was a steal there. And then, let's see, I have a little bit more, I think, from Savers. Oh. The other one is, let's see, these I got on a 50% off day. This feels like a heavy silk ivory blend. Like a pop, maybe a poly silk. It's silky, whether it has actual silk in it or not, I'm assuming it's probably a synthetic, um, maybe a cotton polyester, um, either something that was for formal wear or decorator. I have no clue what I would do with this. I would not necessarily make a dress out of this whole thing. I just thought it's kind of a good basic semi-fancy fabric to have on hand, maybe to go with something else. Um, I do have some really pretty vintage fabric that has pansies on it and the background color is this and it would make a nice uh, semi-formal type dress and maybe something like a bolero to go with it in this color um, so I just I couldn't leave this behind one cut was $2.99 and I paid half so $1.50 for one piece and then the other piece um, I don't see the tag okay here it is this one was $2.99 again so $1.50 each so $3 for both cuts and there's quite enough there to easily do a little jacket if that's what I decide to do with that one the next one that I got from Savers and I've already pulled the tag off this one so I'm not 100% sure what 
I paid for this one uh, unless it is on my receipt this was probably the maybe the most expensive one uh, because I think it was the largest quantity uh, you know three dollars and 19 cents if that's expensive but this is a fabulous pink and gray buffalo plaid cotton and I've got a lot of it I love this so much I can just see this in one of the vintage really full skirted 1950s style dresses like a shirtwaist style I think this would be really really cute look how much I've got and it is it's wide it's definitely a 55 or a 60 inch wide and I've got a lot and I've already pre-washed this one so it's ready to go uh, hopefully soon don't know when I have other things on the list ahead but at least this one is all washed and nice and ready to go and I, I just love the pink and the gray it's so nice and soft all right and then the last thing I think I got from Savers is this. This was also on the 50% off day on they had uh, $3.99 so I paid $2. It's called a iron glide. It's a pressing cloth. So I'm going to have to look this up online to see how it's supposed to work. I mean the majority of it is they've got it fastened together here. Um, majority of it is just like this you know woven cotton but this section right here has kind of a plastic rubbery sort of feeling on it so I, I want to look up and see what the purpose of that section is but I'm always in need of a pr actual designated pressing cloth and I don't have one so that was that was a great deal um, and that is it for my savers portion. Uh, then I have, let's see, one, two, three pieces here that were gifted to me from a friend at work. And this is vintage cotton, like a feed sack fabric. It's pink stripes with little tiny blue flowers in between. It's new, but it's very, very well, has that very 1930s worn fat feel to it. Um, not sure what I'll end up doing with this, but it's two individual pieces, so it's most likely genuine feed sack. Um, two panels probably about a yard yard each not sure maybe a blouse we'll see something simple and cute so there's she gave me that and then I have another piece of feed sack from her also this is a single panel and it is these white and red daisies on purple with yellow leaves This is a smaller piece, probably will end up being something like pockets on a dress. And then this one is a, now when I first saw this I thought it was gray, but it's not. It's green. It's pink and green stripe and then a small black stripe shirting pink. Really cute. And I have several yards. It's very narrow, so surely very quite old. This is the width of this. Doubled over, so when you would see it on the bolt, it would be just that size. It's amazing how narrow the fabrics were long ago. So I'm, you know, this is could go anywhere from the 30s through the 50s. This fabric, it's so basic, it's hard to say for sure but I love this one and I have I think at least two yards of this I have not I have not measured it yet but these were a gift and I absolutely love them so thank you very much if you're watching you know who you are thank you and then let's see oh one more savers I got this the other day and I forgot this is just a basic 
like this one was half price also, $2.99. So this one was $1.50 and it is just a gray suiting fabric. So this is surely, um, I'll make like a pencil skirt out of this. It's been cat fluffed, just a gray, gray suiting. Perfect for a pencil skirt. How can you beat it? A dollar fifty, not counting labor for a skirt. Okay, and then I have a few more purchases from Bell Star. I have, um, let's see. I have this really nice cotton um, with just some green leaves and ivory on it. I think there's about two yards of this. It's sort of a semi-polished cotton, relatively modern, um, maybe, you know, 80s or so, uh, but definitely uh, a really good quality cotton. So this would make a nice little blouse. Another friend gave me this little piece. Um, actually, no, I bought this one. This is just scrap. But it's really cute. It's another feed sack piece. I will only be able to get maybe pockets out of this because it's been used. But I couldn't pass it up because the print is so cute. It's even been mended. Um, if you can see, it's Tom Sawyer painting the fence there. And here he is on his raft. Very cute. 30s print so that will go in my little small stash where I keep things for just accents so this one was given to me by a friend this one is just a small piece that I can probably use again for a trim uh, it's kind of a poly crepe but then it has all the pattern is flocked in black so it has a nice texture feel to it nice little soft blocking so I really like that piece and another piece she gave me is, I think she gave me this. I, she either gave me this or I bought this. I can't remember. <laughs> but it's, it's gray and white seersucker. Stripe. Beautiful, summery, vintage seersucker. Yes, I think I did buy this one. I have a piece of green seersucker that she gave me. And then I bought this, which I love. Now I have not done a burn test on this yet it's because I really would like to know if this is synthetic or this is rayon because it is very wide, but I, it really screams that it is vintage to me. It feels vintage. Um, the print looks vintage, but these days so many old patterns are reproduced i do know this was purchased a very long time ago so it is not modern but how old it is i can't be sure it is 60 wide but it's sure and I, there are six yards of it i have six yards of this absolutely gorgeous drapey fabulous black with pink and gray floral print I, I just I love this so much I paid $20 for all this yardage this width I mean I'm really gonna have to think hard and look for one of my most fabric hungry patterns to be sure I can use as much of this as I possibly can. It has such absolutely gorgeous drape and it has very fine, you can hear that little sound, it has little tiny like fine lines in it. Solid black back, but isn't it pretty? I love it. I love it so much. I love this one. Okay, and I have two more pieces. These are from my favorite online vintage seller, Shop Make This Look. If you haven't checked her out yet, be sure to. 
this gorgeous berry print. I don't think they're cherries. They kind of look like cherries because they're red, but I think they're, they're just like holly berries even maybe. But the green in, is like a blue green leaf and the gray background. And this is such a fine woven shirting type fabric is absolutely beautiful. And I think I have two yards of this. Here's the print. Isn't it nice? This is going to be a special one. This will definitely be something that I have, I make first in another fabric and then I'll, if I love it, I will break out this special fabric and make some nice little blouse out of that because I'm not just going to cut into this one. This is a rare bird. So pretty. Love it. And then the next one that I have from her is this adorable little novelty print. Um, it's a buttery yellow. I think again two, two and a half yards maybe. And it has little clocks on it with flowers and Roman numerals and the little clocks and the flower centers all have metallic gold on them. I don't know if you can see that on here but here I'm gonna try. the gold on here is metallic. So cute. Vintage novelty prints. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Total weakness. And of course, Mina always includes something special with it, buttons. So that is all I have for my haul of fabric for about June. That's quite a bit. Some might have, you know, maybe they were at the end of May, maybe they're beginning of July. Uh, <laughs> but you get the idea. That's my current vintage fabric haul. And while I have you here talking about fabric, I wanted to let you know that I am going on a family vacation to the East Coast. And while I am there, I am going to be spending a day downtown in Manhattan and I am going to the Garment District and see if I can score some really fabulous fabric deals. I'm really excited about it and I want to take you along with me. So what I'm going to do is bring my camera with me and do some filming uh, as much as I can in uh, the area downtown and the stores, well, the ones I go in, the fabric that I see uh, so I can have a special video for you um, showing you know what I saw on my trip but also while I'm there I am going to go on Instagram and do a few live check-ins so if you are not already following me on Instagram and I think it will carry over so if you only do one or the other you should be able to catch it on either Instagram or Facebook it'll post from Instagram and transfer over so my username on Instagram which I always have linked below is Arthelia's underscore vintage underscore and underscore handmade so you can find me there and follow me and make sure you hit for the notifications and it will show when you'll get a little pop-up notification that shows when I go live so you can join me and comment and uh, it should be fun I want to have you there with me and I want you to see what I see so it would be an extra little add-on to the video presentation that I will have later, but you'll get to be there live with me in person and uh, maybe we can say hello and see what we see. Um, that will be on July 29th, so mark your calendars if you want to join me in NYC down in the Garment District and take a look and do some fabric shopping with me. And um, I think that's about all I have for today. 
again a big thank you to all my subscribers old and new I'm so happy to have you and to have you here I would like to remind you to give this a thumbs up if you like it and also leave me a comment below let me know what you like about it what you want to see in future videos and I hope you will join me on the 29th live and until next time bye <laughs>